I'm Kristen Peake here with Ian Jackson. We're at Pangos All American Camp in Las Vegas. Uh, how have the first couple days been going? How do you think you've been playing? Uh, I feel like I've been playing well. It's been definitely, definitely different uh, playing against the top players in the country all at one time. It's just definitely different. I feel like I've been playing well. Anyone that kind of surprised you? I mean, you're on the Adidas circuit. Anyone from like EYBL or Under Armour that surprised you? <laughs> what are you smiling about? Boogie. <laughs> But uh, definitely, the first time I just played with Sean, Sean Stewart, he's definitely good. Uh, being able to play against him is definitely something that was fun for me because uh, he's, he's tough. He's tough. You're emerging as and kind of solidifying yourself as one of the top players in your class. Where does that work stem from and where have you seen the most growth in your game this past spring? Um, I've seen the most growth like during the season. Uh, during the season, the shot is becoming way better. Uh, it's dropping consistently now. Uh, just me becoming like more composed and understanding where to be on where to be on the floor at certain spots, and just that's like what really was growing there over the summer. How's the whole recruitment process been going? You're still uncommitted. Um, it's going great, actually. Uh, hearing from the schools I want to hear from, uh, I'm hearing, liking what they're saying. Uh, just talking to them on a, on a daily basis. Who are some of the schools that are hitting you the hardest right now? Uh, Kentucky, Oregon, UCLA, Kansas. Really, are the schools that's talking to me the most right now. Okay, Kentucky. Um, obviously, Coach Cal has a great track record with getting top players to the league. What do you like about that program? Uh, it just, just I, I, when I was younger, I had a brief conversation with Coach Calipari. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he, he probably doesn't remember, but I had a brief conversation. But ever since then, I've been watching it, watching their team, uh, keeping up with them, and just realizing and seeing like what they do. Uh, I think Coach Calipari has all the tools to make me become, help me become a pro if I do decide to go there. Yeah. But that's definitely something that I'm looking toward. What was the conversation? Was it you're going to be recruiting me one day? Do you remember what you said to him? Uh, no, I was just, I was just trying, to, I was just trying to just talk to him. Not really about basketball, really. I was just kind of starstruck. Yeah. Even though he's a coach, he's kind of starstruck back in sixth grade. Uh, just, just trying to talk to him and yeah. pick his brain a little bit. Okay, Oregon and UCLA and the Pac-12. Um, what st stands out to you? potentially playing on the West Coast, and what do you like about that? those two programs? Um, so Oregon, uh, the coach, assistant coach there, uh, we, we're from the Bronx, so we have like more like a mutual understanding of how we both grew up and the struggles that we both came from. So it's more of a, a good connection there. UCLA, it just, this is the way he talked. Uh, he said uh, a whole bunch of hard workers, and I definitely see myself a hard worker, and I think I could definitely thrive at that program. What, what schools do you want to get to? Uh, I want to get out to UCLA. I want, I want to get out to Oregon and Kentucky. Okay. What were the other schools, a couple other schools that said that were hitting you hard? Um, we got Kansas. Kansas. Kansas definitely wanted to get out to uh, national championship yeah. this year. Yeah. Uh, so just, just what's put me towards them really is just how much they win. Uh, the, the winning aspect of it is definitely something I love winning. Uh, so from them winning is definitely something that drew me closer. And I know you said Tennessee and Texas Tech have also reached out. They haven't offered yet. What are they saying they need to see more of you before they can offer? Or what's their message to you? Uh, there's something they watch my game, they love my game, and they just waiting to drew for teams to actually talk to me and see how I am as a kid, really. So that's what we're waiting for. Here at Pangos, NBA scouts were able to come watch you guys. What were you hoping to showcase and show the NBA scouts in the building? Um, that, that I could play hard. Um, it's not it's not often you find a kid that's considered one of the top players in the country playing hard every, everywhere against every competition. So just showing them that I could play hard, play both sides of the ball, and just get it done. What's most important to you when you start to break down this decision on where you're going to go? Um, just somewhere that feels like home, really. Uh, a, a, a campus, a program that feels like family and who come welcome me with open arms. When do you anticipate making this decision? Uh, probably, probably after my season next year, after junior season. Okay. After, yeah. Right. So you're j you're gonna take your time with the process and kind of you know hear everyone out. Yeah, definitely uh, take my time with the process and see what and hear what everybody else is saying. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ian, thank you so much for the update. Uh, for more information on Ian Jackson, keep it right here on Rivals.com.